Hello everyone, welcome back again to the 80s Movie Den. So this is going to be the first of a four-part Christmas series. Uh, it's going to be similar to what I did back in October with the Halloween Horror Movie Marathon Month. Uh, however, I won't be watching 31 movies in 31 days. Uh, I actually went through my movie library and realized that I don't even have that many Christmas movies. Uh, I've only got a handful. Um, I was quite surprised uh, to find out that I didn't have very many at all. Uh, so I think what I'll what I'll do is uh, is I'll head out and I'll I'll look for some more movies to uh, to add to what I have. Uh, but um, the movies I do have, I enjoy very much. Uh, clearly, I have a go-to um, comfort zone, if you will, of Christmas movies that I like to watch, um, and I think. I enjoy them very much because I only watch them once a year. Um, it's not like horror movies. Uh, horror movies you can watch any time of year. Uh, they're not just reserved for October. Uh, you can watch Christmas movies in July if you want to. There's no rule against it. Uh, but it just doesn't feel right watching uh, Christmas movies um, any other time of year other than the month of December, November, December. So, so for this week I watched uh, two movies. Um, it's probably only going to be about two to three Christmas movies per week. Uh, and I started off with a couple of awesome movies. Uh, it's a franchise. Uh, in my opinion, the first two movies are probably the best. Um, and uh, the only ones worth watching for me personally. Um, we'll start with the first one here. Uh, I went to see this in theaters with my family when it first came out way back and it's Home Alone. Uh, great movie, a lot of fun. Uh, Macaulay Culkin was uh, just a charming little actor. Uh, he burst onto the scene with this film and he did such an excellent job in this. Uh, there was also a very, very good supporting cast um, to help him along. Uh, Joe Pesci, uh, Daniel Stern, uh, Catherine O'Hara, uh, they also did an amazing job in this film. Uh, but it was very funny. Um, you know, all the all the booby traps that were set. Um, you know, the fact that he had to uh, grow up and be kind of a little adult uh, when he found out he was uh, home by himself. Uh, the, the grocery shopping scene was, uh, was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, just an awesome movie. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It was, it was great. And I still watch it year after year and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this one, I believe, is better than the first one. Uh, some of you may not agree, but uh, Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Um, I found it funnier, to be honest. Uh, maybe because I don't watch it as often as I watch the first one. I don't always watch this one um, every Christmas for whatever reason. Uh, I watch the first Home Alone and then I get into other Christmas movies and then I kind of forget to just watch this one. Uh, but this is a great movie. Um, it's a lot of fun. Rob Snyder's in this. Uh, Tim Curry. Uh, they're great in this. Um, the, the use of the New York landscape is awesome. Uh, they're all over New York. Um, what else? Uh, the, the toy store in the movie is a really neat, uh, really neat scene as well. And of course, Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci again. Uh, just what a great duo. Uh, absolutely hilarious. Uh, but yeah, uh, some may disagree, but I actually enjoy this uh, this one better. Um, I think I like it because um, it's just a continuation. Um, Kevin's a little more grown up, uh, and uh, it's just nice to see it continue and evolve from the first movie. So I think that's why I like it so much too. But yeah, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. So, so yeah. Um, you know, Christmas is right around the corner. Uh, the Christmas movies have started. Uh, this is a great time of year. I absolutely enjoy this time of year. I love the fact that um, I get a little bit of time off. Uh, I can sit back and relax for a few days, let the old battery recharge, and um, enjoy some awesome Christmas movies and uh, some time with family and my pets and, um, you know, big family dinners and, uh, all that good stuff. So 
so yeah so that'll be it for this episode uh episode two will be um i've got three christmas movies on my list on my watch list so i'm looking forward to checking those out and then reviewing those with you um if you're new to the channel i say this all the time uh welcome uh thanks for uh hanging out and uh checking out the channel i really appreciate it um, all my content is basically uh, movies from the 80s, pop culture from the 80s, as well as uh, movies from other decades as well. If you like what you see and uh, you want to subscribe, uh, please feel free to do so. Uh, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications. I put out a video every Saturday. Uh, sometimes I'll do videos on Sundays. Uh, the odd time, but it's rare, I'll do videos on Fridays as well. So stay tuned for some upcoming videos, some more Christmas movie reviews, um, some collectibles and other movies as well. This has been the 80s Movie Den, and as always, catch you on the next one.